It's happened again. Customers of two different banks are being warned of an ATM scam. This time, the crooks stole ATM card information in both Peabody and the North End. Tonight, Lauren Lemanchek shows you what you should watch for. What ATM customers don't know could cost them. Have you heard of skimming? Skimming, no. Here on bustling Hanover Street in the North End, the Secret Service says this man was scamming customers at the Century Bank. He hit another ATM in Peabody. You should probably pay attention to my statement. Skimming is becoming more common and harder to catch. ATM skimming is about a billion dollar a year business for the bad guys. Identity theft expert Robert Siciliano demonstrates how it works. So this, this is a skimming device when this is placed over the ATM over the card slot, it makes a facade and all you do is just slide your card through and that pulls the information off the back of the magnetic strip. But the real key is a hidden camera designed to capture your pin. Usually the camera is either hidden in a brochure box uh, behind a mirror. The skimming device sits on top of the card slot, but some of the devices have gotten so good they're nearly impossible to detect just by looking. What I rec recommend that people do is when they walk up to an ATM that they kind of fiddle around with the face of the card slot and if they can pull something off, obviously that's a skimming device. Another key step is to hide the keyboard when you're typing in your pin. That way the criminal can't steal your cash. Savvy customers are the best defense. We can all be victims. In Boston, Lauren Lamanchek, WBZ News.